We've ran into a problem at the shop. The display I built is way too tall on the upper shelves for anyone to see what's up there or grab anything down. So... For average humans like me. So we've got the Beck Vamp. It's from Ikea. It's $20. We're gonna assemble the stool and give it a fun paint job. So assembly's pretty easy on these. They come with like a five page leaflet. It's pretty self-explanatory. The kit comes with an Allen wrench and all the parts to put it together. Hello guys, woo! All right, so what are we doing first, buddy? Well, let's count the screws out. Let's count them out. How many do we have? All right. Five. Can I look at the instructions? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. 11 screws. Wow. All right, so I'm going to look at the picture here. We need to put the short ones go in the two top parts here, and the long ones go in the two bottom parts here. So let's do that part. Can you hold this up for me? Yeah. You can hold that up. Okay, and then these. Whoa. Oh, One of these goes in here, just like so, and then it screws in. And then... See these little things? We need to get the camera bigger. There! So you can see these little things. These are called plug holes. Those are called plug holes? Yeah, so we can plug the holes. Alright, I'm twisting it fast. Hold it tight. Don't let it slip. Okay. Okay, so that one's tight. Now we need to get this one in. Oh, top. it can stay! Yep, it's on its own now. Alright. Here, hand me that screw. I'm moving it, Dad. You're moving it. Alright. Okay, cool. let's tighten it up. Here, you use the one that came from IKEA and I'll use my Allen wrench set. Uh oh, you went backwards. Here, let me get it started for you. Oh. Okay, so spin it like this clockwise, okay? Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Good job. Let's see those muscles. Uh, Have you been eating a lot? You, yeah. You growing big? Uh, whoa! Yeah! Yeah! Get it! <laughs> Damn. All right, one last turn, Jack. Here, I'll hold it steady. Oh. Okay. All right, bottom it out. Okay, ah! I think you got it. Whoa. High five it, buddy. <laughs> the stool's all assembled. I lost my good help. Jack had to run off to his day job. So while Jamie's taking Jack to preschool, I'm gonna use some DIY dark and decrepit on the stool. That way when we paint it and distress it, we get some good contrast back underneath. The dark color will show. The reason we like to use dark and decrepit for the undercoat for a two-tone look is because it has a built-in sealer. It's water-based, it'll wash out of my brush well, but it dries pretty quickly and it'll already be sealed. So I won't have to seal over the dark and decrepit when I go to put my paint coat on and that'll give me a buffer when I go to distress it. I can wet distress and the dark and decrepit won't come off. I'm not gonna worry about really great coverage on this just because we are painting over this and it's basically an undercoat. That's the nice thing about these $20 Ikea stools though. They come raw wood, so you can paint them, stain them, do whatever you want with them. And they're really easy to put a finish on. The dark and decrepit is all dry. It only took about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna be spraying it with DIY in White Swan and then we're gonna distress it and then stamp it and then it'll be finished. So I've started to blow dry this just to get it to dry quicker and it's starting to crackle, which is fine because we want this to be a crackled piece. In fact, we're gonna add more crackle once we're done stamping. However, this is something to keep in mind. If you are using a blow dryer to blow dry your DIY paint, if you have any kind of latex or primer underneath, 
it can bubble, so be careful. But in this case, we've got dark and decrepit and then the DIY paint over it, so I'm just gonna blow dry it and get it to crackle some more. In the areas where it's really thick, that's where that clay gets nice and crackly. Okay, now we're ready to distress. I could use my orbital sander. It's a little cold for me in the garage, even with a heater. So I'm going to use my 220 on a sanding sponge and just sand all the flat surfaces. Then I will come back and wet distress the edges. By sanding the flat surfaces, we're gonna get rid of any texture or bumps that may have happened when spraying. Next, we're gonna wet distress with a lint-free damp rag. This does two things. We're gonna pull off some more of the paint to show the dark and decrepit, and two, it's gonna get rid of any dust that's on it. But be careful because the dark and decrepit is water-based, and we, in our case, we didn't let it sit very long, so you don't wanna push so hard that you mix the dark and decrepit and make a brown mess with your white swan. So I've laid out my stamps the way that I want them and I'm just, I have the sticky back facing up and I'm just gonna pick up each little grouping. This is the Birds, Branches and Blossom set and I'm just picking up each grouping with the backing mat that comes with the stamp set. That way I know how I want it laid out. Just using a little bit of layered chocolate with some faded burlap. The branches aren't very big, so I don't want to use too much paint. I'm just going to add a dab of this faded burlap because I don't want it to be one dimensional. So if I roll it on like that and then roll it on my branch, I'll get both colors on my branches. So I pulled off everything else other than the branches. I'm rolling these two colors when I want more chocolate. You can see it's mixing on there and now it's mixed on my brayer. And I'm gonna roll it and get both colors on my branch. Do one at a time. Now lay it down, don't shift. Once you've got a spot, you are committed to that spot. If you mess up, just wipe it off and repaint that area. The next branch is across the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this rolled up. I've got a little oopsie there. I'm just going to take a damp rag and wipe that off. All right, so I put my bird back. I can't even remember my original design, but I just want to make sure that he's perching on that branch. So I'm just going to pick him up and then we'll roll some paint on. So next I'm going to be adding my birds. I'm going to drop a little bit of farm fresh onto my mat and a dab of Hey Sailor. The, the darker colors tend to overpower and I don't want my bird to be super dark. So I'm gonna try to just get like a little drop. There we go. I'm gonna load up my brayer. You can see I've got both colors on here. I want a little bit more farm fresh than that. And I'm gonna roll my bird. I'm gonna roll my other bird. I want it to be darker, so I'm rolling in the Hey Sailor a little more. So I'm gonna freestyle this one. Freestyling just means I'm not gonna be using a mat. Okay, next I'm layering out my flowers. I've got petticoat pink, and that's gonna be the first color. I'm just gonna go with a single color on the flowers because I'm gonna be layering multiple colors. All right, I'm layering my flowers that were on the bottom. I actually can't even remember where I had them. I think right there. For the second layer of flowers, I'm going with a mix of Kissing Booth and Cowgirl Coral. So I'm switching it up to using this one in both places because it's more of an outline and I don't want it to be as full in the middle so that way you can see what's underneath. So I'm just loading up my brayer with both colors and putting it on here. Flowers just gonna kind of come right over the top here. I have gypsy green and I want just a little bit of brown because leaves are never one color. Okay, rollering on my leaves. 
I've got a mix of brown, mostly green, but a little bit of brown in there. I've decided to add some leaves to this one just to kind of ground it, so. That's why I love these mounting mats because they really let you get in. I'm using Dark and Decrepit here. It's a little bit thinner than the paint. Well, it's a lot thinner than the paint. I would not suggest using a traditional oil-based stain to do this or like a, a milk stain or anything. It needs to be thicker than a water-based stain and you definitely don't want to be using an oil-based stain to do this technique. The Dark and Decrepit is perfect because the, the thickness is good and it's water-based so you won't ruin your stamps. You can wash it right off. So I've got it rolled on here. I'm gonna to try to make sure it's nice and even. And you, this is not where I'm gonna do the whole thing. I'm just gonna randomly do it. You want it kind of juicy. Cause I'm just gonna tickle the stamp. I don't know if this is gonna work the way I want it to. We'll see. Okay, so I've got it on there. I'm gonna lay it on and I'm gonna tickle the mat. I do not want to do pressure everywhere because then it's just gonna be a whole big thing or crackle. Bam. You have a little bit more open time with this so you don't need to re-darken decrepit your mat every time. People are gonna be stepping on this and it's probably gonna get some pretty hard use. So we're back out to the garage to seal it with some Sweet Pickens top coat. That'll be really nice and durable for this type of use for this stool. This was a fun, quick project. And now we've got a one of a kind stool. Jamie did amazing at getting everything randomly on there and getting that good crackle. The other thing that I really like is mixing the colors because it looks more hand painted and less like a stamp. For those of us that aren't like true hand painted artist at, by nature, IOD really lends itself to getting your creative hand painted vibe out with a little bit more control and it looks a little bit more uniform than if I was to try to paint it. The last time I hand painted a bird, somebody bought it from a market because they thought that Jack did it. <laughs> Just saying. I did use a ton of colors here. You can use DIY paint, Fairy Chalk Mother. You could even use Sweet Pickens. I like it to be a little bit thicker. The reason why I chose DIY is because I have a bunch of colors that I use for blending, so I had them anyways. It doesn't take very much. And also, they wash really well and they hold up so when i'm mixing them they don't get all muddy they kind of keep separate that way i've got a little bit of mixing and then some variation so the stool is from ikea it's 19.99 the stamp that we used is birds branches and blossoms by iod and you can pick that up at jamierayvintage.com we also use the iod crack allure and here's a rundown of the paint that you need to pick up if you want the exact same look we've got farm fresh petticoat pink layered chocolate hay sailor gypsy green Kissing Booth, Faded Burlap, Dark and Decrepit, and White Swan. Whew, that is a <laughs> mouthful. Zeb's gonna list every single product below, so don't worry, you don't have to write that all down. Oh, I am? Page. Yeah, you're gonna need to list them because they're, they're gonna ask you. If you're interested in creating this hand-painted look with the IOD stamps, be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com to pick up all the supplies. And when you share these videos with your friends, it helps us create more content like this. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.